Hi Aries, this is your July 29th through August 4th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love entering your life. In the second spread we'll check in with those of you who are already involved with somebody. Spread number three is love from the past. In the fourth spread we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And uh, we'll wrap things up with the fifth spread which will be what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, comment and subscribe to support this channel. So this first spread is a new love this week, uh, Aries. We have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Chariot, clarified by Justice. We have the Knight of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Fool with the, the Hierophant and the Six of Pentacles. And we also have the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have Libra, Taurus. We do have uh, you, <laughs> Aries. We do have a card for you, but you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. It's a general reading. Well, Aries, I'm very impressed, and I think you will be impressed also. This person is not going to be wasting any time. No time wasted whatsoever. This person is rolling out the big guns. They're coming in with the intention of a long-term relationship or even marriage. Right out the gate. From the get-go, right? We are, we we start with the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, and we also have the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck, right? So we got two Aces, and uh, the Ten of Pentacles clarifying that uh, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles actually often comes through as a marriage proposal. <laughs> I don't I don't know if they're gonna propose to you this week because it's supposed to be a brand new person entering your life, or maybe you've been talking to this person and they will come towards you with an Ace of Pentacles this week, offering you to make it formal, official, serious, exclusive, what have you. Right? The Ten of Pentacles clarifying the Ace of Pentacles is a card of a commitment to marriage. Rock solid commitment to marriage. And the Ace of Pentacles um, usually leads to that uh, Ten of Pentacles. So this is, this is the energy that they're coming in with. Right? And the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck is the most loving, the most caring Ace out of all four Aces. Okay, and uh, right after that Ace of Pentacles, we have the Chariot, clarified by Justice, two major Arcana cards. Uh, the Chariot could be a Cancer, you know, Justice could be a Libra, but uh, the Chariot uh, is a card of victory and success, right? It's a card of moving, it's a card of moving forward and not looking back. So this person knows once they make this move, once they make this offer this week, there's no going back, and they're 100% prepared for that. Okay, for some of you, the chariot could be you guys literally going somewhere, or this person showing up, right? And justice clarifying it is also a major arcana card. It's a very, very serious <laughs> major arcana card. So justice could be a Libra, you're young, but justice could be uh, an actual place where people get married, right? Justice could be the legal system. So this person is ready to sign a piece of paper, a particular piece of paper <laughs> with you, where both people sign it. Right? Um, yeah, justice could be, um, you're finally getting what you deserve, right? Justice could also be a card of an apology. Maybe they owe you an apology for something. Let me know in the comments down below. The Knight of Cups in the middle uh, is pretty much the same as the Ace of Cups, right? The Knight of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but it's the most caring, the most loving Knight out of all four Knights, right? Very similar to that Ace of Cups. Okay, the Knight of Cups is often referred to as Knight in a Shining Armor. Okay, so yeah, you see how this person is coming in. They're coming in with a very serious offer, with that uh, Ace of Pentacles, with very serious intentions. And uh, at the same time, this person is very loving with those uh, Knight and the Ace of Cups. All right, so yeah, perhaps you hit the jackpot. <laughs> Here he is. You hit the jackpot. Um, in the potential outcome, we have the Fool with the Hierophant and the Six of Pentacles. The Fool is actually one of your major arcana cards, um, Aries. But uh, at the same time, it is a card of taking the leap of faith. And I think uh, you, you're just going to go right in, okay, with this person. Because this person is a... It's, they're not just talking the talk, they're walking the walk. They're walking the walk from the get-go, from the beginning, right? The Hierophant in the middle could be a Taurus. You're dealing with the Hierophant is a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. Similar to that Ten of Pentacles, that is clarifying that Ace of Pentacles in the beginning. Okay, the Hierophant is also a very spiritual, uh, religious, educational card. Alright, and uh, the Six of Pentacles right next to the deck is a card of an equal give and take. 
And uh, this card is a card of balance and it's a card of uh, generosity. And uh, this person is generous uh, both when it comes to their emotions, showing you emotions with the Knight and the Ace of Cups, and uh, also perhaps uh, serious gifts <laughs> and uh, other serious things and uh, financial a gift or something like that, but at Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, all right? So, yeah, here is this person is not wasting time. No, they they mean business. They want to they wanna spend the rest of their life with you. Really happy for you. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, um, Aries, this spread is for you. We have the Three of Cups, left right by the Queen of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Wands, left right by the Page of Wands. And we have the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So we do have three queens. <laughs> so maybe um, it's some kind of a get-together or a birthday, a girl's night out, boy's night out. <laughs> um, it could be a birthday party, right? Uh, we just entered um, Leo birthday season. Perhaps this queen of once is a Leo. Or it could be a child's birthday party, right? The, uh, the page of once could be a, a child Leo. Right, uh, we start with the Three of Cups, which is a card of a reunion, it's a card of a celebration, it's, it's a card of a birthday or a get-together, a girls' night out, I don't know. So, so you and um, perhaps at least a couple of other people will be celebrating something. And you know, whenever I see, so, whenever I see many uh, court cards in the same reading, it could be like a, it could be a much, much bigger event, on, on a much bigger, on a much larger scale. Right, so we got a couple of pages. Pages could be children, or pages could be uh, gifts. Pages could be communication. Pages that page of Pentacles could be like a gift certificate to go to a spa or paying yourself <laughs> to go to a spa. It could be a, a birthday present, or it could be like a potluck situation where everybody brings something to eat or something among those lines. Right? Yeah. Uh, three queen, at least three people, at least three people, Aries. Uh, you could be the queen of ones here, <laughs> and uh, maybe you have a kid who is a Leo or something like that. All right, cool. Let's see if anybody wants to get back together with you, Aries, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be uh, the most recent next. We have the Five of Swords, clarified by Death. We have Judgment. Uh, we have the Ace of Swords, uh, clarified by the Queen of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, and we also have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or any Zodiac sign. So yes, somebody is showing up. Somebody is showing back up. Right? Judgment, kind of in the middle. It is a card of somebody coming back from the past. We also have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, which is a card of travel or communication or both. All right, but we start with the Five of Swords clarified by Death. Death is a Scorpio major arcana card, but together with the Five of Swords, you know, it's like an end. It's an ending, an ugly ending, as a matter of fact, because it's never pretty with the Five of Swords. So it's possible that this is what happened between you and whoever it is coming back. There was an ugly fight or an ugly breakup, or there was like a final break, uh, final fight that caused the breakup, or Perhaps this person is breaking up with somebody else. So if I were you, I would try to find out what they've been up to recently, right? Perhaps this person broke up with you a while ago and uh, you guys moved on. They started dating somebody and now they broke up with that other person and perhaps that's why they're coming back to you. Okay, yeah, you need to you need to clarify a few things. Hence the Ace of Swords to the right from Judgment. The Ace of Swords is clarified by the Queen of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. You're the Queen of Wands here. I think we're all uh, in agreement. <laughs> You're the Queen of Wands. And the Ace of Swords is a card of being very straightforward, very direct. It's also a card of mm, something being revealed, right? The Ace of Swords could either swing to the left or to the right. Uh, it's a double-edged sword in the Ace of Swords, so it could be either yay or nay. So yeah, with the Ace of Swords, you'll need to get to the bottom of something, right? To make sure you're 100% clear as uh, so to why they're coming back right now, what happened, and things like that. And uh, the Two of Pentacles, the, yeah, I think the Two of Pentacles clarifying the Queen of Wands, that's you kind of juggling information, juggle, trying to piece all of this together. Right, and make a decision based on that information. So basically make a educated decision about this person. That is, of course, if you want this person back. 
If you don't, then uh, set, set, him, set, him, set him free. <laughs> let him let him go. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances areas this week. We have the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Swords. We have the Page of Wands, clarified by the Three of Pentacles. We also have the Will of Fortune. And uh, the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with any zodiac sign. So here's the deal, Aries. I don't know who this person is in the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Swords in the beginning. It could be you or it could be somebody else. But somebody here is really stressed out about some kind of an ending. Okay? I'm not predicting anybody getting fired or getting laid off. I think this, those two cards is something that already happened. Alright? But uh, yeah, somebody is stressed out about an ending. The Ten of Swords is a card of an ending. Alright? And uh, the Nine of Swords is a card of somebody who is really, really stressed out about that. So here comes the Page of Wands, clarified by the Three of Pentacles. The Page of Wands is a, is a message. Alright? Maybe if this person um, lost a job, they will message you and uh, ask you for help. If you could help them find a new job or if you could... Uh, direct them to or connect them with somebody who can find them a job or something like that, right? Because the Page of Wands is clarified by the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration and cooperation. And this card sometimes comes through as a card of a workplace environment, business place environment, or it could be like a circle of friends, circle of acquaintances, or a circle of uh, people who work in the same industry, right? Um, and uh, the Wheel of Fortune right next to the deck is the start of a cycle, so yeah, it's a cycle, I guess, <laughs> a new job. If you're the one who lost the job, um, reach out, send the uh, send some messages out to us, to like a circle of friends or a circle of acquaintances or a circle of uh, people in the same industry. And I think somebody will either f help you find a job or connect you with the correct person or connect you with the correct organization, right? Hence the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, it is a card of a cycle, it is a card of when things turn around, it's a very fortunate card. The Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck, it is a card of victory and success. Okay, it's also a card of uh, recognition, it's a card of feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. If somebody reaches out to you and asks for help, and if you help them out, you know, they will return the favor at some point in the future, and it will make you feel good about yourself. All right, Aries? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Aries. We have the Queen of Swords, clarified by death. We have uh, the Three of Wands, clarified by the King of Cups. We have the Tower. And uh, we also have the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Uh, this is probably indirectly related to you. For most of you, it's, some, it's this Queen of Swords and the King of Cups. Those two are done. They're breaking up. They're going their separate ways. They are cutting the cord, they are severing ties. This connection is done. Whatever the nature of this connection is between those two, that connection is no more. They are they're done. Yep. Um, yeah, so you got this Queen of Swords, who is most likely an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we also got this King of Cups, who is most likely a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And uh, with the Death card being here, with the Tower being here, and the Five of Swords also being here, yeah, I think those two are done. Right, and I think this decision is final because the three of ones that the King of Cups is clarifying, it is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a final decision. Right, and uh, perhaps it's you didn't see this coming. The tower right next to the deck, it's when things fall apart, and it's also a card of when you know, something, that, something that happens unexpectedly. Okay, yeah. I don't think you're the King of uh, Cups or the Queen of Swords. Even though I personally believe we're, we definitely can embrace the energy of any King or Queen. But uh, I think this is, this is another couple of people. <laughs> Alright, and those two are done. Alright, Aries, so uh, that's what I have for you for this reading, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aries, have an amazing week.